Opening night at the West Plattsburgh American Legion Field post 16-19 Adirondack Slow Pitch League. The defending champion, Labatt's Blue Team. Or is it Labatt's Lime Green? I don't know. Labatt's. And their opponent's Dragoons Farm Equipment. This is the third game of the night on this field. This is field number one. Here we are set for action defensively. Let's see. You got Kevin Levine pitching. Jocko DeMaris senior behind the plate. Uh, David Perrier is at first. Scott McCormick's at uh, at second. Looks like Neil Stevens is at third, and uh, you got uh, Brown. Where's Tom Perry? In the outfield. Huh. Uh, Tom Perry, Chris Perrier, Welk, and Brown, no, and Drolette in the outfield. This is Mark Dragoon. Leading off for Dragoons. Brent Kringle calling the balls and strikes. Keith Thrill lumping on the bases. There's a strike. Temperature of 50 degrees when I arrived an hour and a half ago or two hours ago. Full count. Pitch from Levine. Popped up. Gonna be trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Good effort by Stevens, but he's not <laughs> not used to running with it back to the play. Let's see, Jocko Jr. is out there in outfield too somewhere. This is um, Isaac DeRolf. Strike. Popped up, out of play. What? That was a foul ball on the third strike, out of play. That's an out. That's an out. Here's uh, Dan Dragoon. And a pitch. Through the left side, a base hit. That'll send his brother to second. First and second. And their cousin Robbie John will step in. Robbie Dragoon. Clean up man. Walker. Little you. Chops up the middle. Ooh, knocked down, chested down when McCormick goes to second. In time, says uh, Keith Riel. I see Perry's in the dugout. He's uh, does it, the extra hitter, I guess. Hey, two there. Let's go. Here's uh, Jim Davison. So Perry is not in the outfield. He's a uh, he's the extra hitter. So in the outfield, you got uh, Brown, Drillette, Chris Perry, and Welk. Popped up out of play. Ah, Mister by a mile. Jim Davison hits it off the base of the fence. He'll chase home a couple of Dragoons. And it's a 2 0 lead for Dragoons Farm Equipment. Uh, you got Travis Davison. And that's going to drop in. That'll be run number three as his father will score. And it's a three-nothing lead for Dragoons. 
There's Matt Garand. Hits it on the ground. Back to Kevin Levine. Levine throws wide. He is uh, he is injured. He's not in the batting order tonight. He's being hit for. So his mobility and his uh, stability are probably limited. Runners at the corners. And Marshall Zins is the batter. Zins takes a strike. High fly ball. Three runs for Dragoons. We're going to the bottom of the first. Jay Drillett coming out of retirement. I'm going to lead off for Labatt's team down three nothing here in the bottom of the first. Pitch from Dragoon is deep. Two and zero. Three and zero. Ball four. Old Drillette walks. And my guess is he will not steal. Used to be stealing in the old Lake Champlain League. That was the only softball league slow pitch I've ever seen with stealing in it. There's Ian Brown. Dan Dragoon trying to find that plate. Orders to take the pitch. Three and zero. Oh, ball four. The brown walks, and this brings up Tom Perry. The extra hitter. He looks to set a strike. There's an extra hitter and a designated hitter. It is dropped and left. Everybody's safe. Potential tying run is on board. And Neil Stevens at the plate. New bats in the league this year. The league bought. Uh, Four bats for each field. Easton bats. Four different weights. <clears throat> Complaints over the years have been that uh, some teams used illegal bats, so the league decided to go for league bats. Neil Stevens <clears throat> will not hear the check the bat. Uh, <laughs> Mantra, that's this time. <laughs> he hits it over the center field fence for a grand slam homer and a lead for Labatt's. It's 4-3. Now here's Hawk Purrier, David Hawk Purrier. It's a shot at the middle. It'll be a leadoff single. <laughs> a leadoff single. Now, uh, base is empty single. Uh, Jocko DeMars Jr. Chris Perrier. First base empty. Three and zero. Walk on deck. We'll load the bases. Is this 
I know it's not Lawrence, I think it's Tom Welk. Still nobody out here in the first. Bags are full. Knocked down at third. Past the bag, he's tagged. Here we go. Here we go now. Six three score. Scott McCormick's gonna keep the rally going with a base hit. Uh, here's Jocko DeMeyer's senior. High fly ball. Solid. Managed to run at a third to be runners at the corners with two outs. And Mike Medor, who's batting for Kevin Levine, takes a strike. They're going grabs. After one full, it is 6-3, Labatt's leading Dragoons Farm Equipment here on viewer-supported home down cable. T.J. Brunel hits one foul to start the second inning, his team down by three. One ball, one strike. Pitch from Levine. Chopped to Stevens. <laughs> Got him. Nice scoop by Hawk Perrier. One out. Now we got Tyler Davison. Looks at ball one. It's a fair ball. And he'll beat it out. Infield hit, line drive in the scorebook. Now we got Josh Chapman. One down. Oh, two down. Two down. Come on now. Come on, D. Left fielder Mark Dragoon hits it to the left side to Brown. It comes up, fires to Perrier, and he is safe. Hey, Hawk, just to let you know, every throw to me at the tournament was there. Isaac DeRuff. It's a line shot into left field. That's going to chase home run number four. It's a 6 4 ball game, and DeRuff represents the potential tying run. Dan Dragoon, pitcher. Lofts it into shallow right center. We have an out. And a player is slow to get up. Is that uh, Drolette? I think, yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's Drolette. <laughs> Uh, he hasn't played in years, so he's uh, probably pulled something. 6-4, we're going to the bottom of the second inning. Jay Gillette's going to have to shake it off here and lead off in the bottom of the second. Team leading 6-4. Chops it to Dragoon over to Davison. One out. Uh, Ian Brown. That's a base hit for Brown. He'll coast into first. Uh, extra hitter Tom Perry. Oh, 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Two down. Neil Stevens poked a grand slam his first time up with these new uh, <laughs> bats that they have here. <laughs> they may have to go back to the drawing board and <laughs> get some uh, <laughs> some different bats. The one that we brought with us. <laughs> so two more. Stevens, two for two with the new bats. <laughs> Hawk Burrier stepped up there. I was waiting for the ball to come in. And he gets himself a base hit off the uh, base of the fence. A double for Hawk Burrier. And Jocko Jr. will be the batter. And he hits a shot to right field. Tyler Davison makes the diving catch. And it is 8-4. Labatt's leading Dragoons. We're going to the third here on Viewer Supported Hometown Cable. Walker. Robbie Dragoon at the plate. Third inning is underway with a strike. 8-4. Dragoons trailing Labatt's. One ball, one strike. Temperature in the upper 40s. It's April 30th, 2012. Opening night here in the West Plattsburg League. They're going to leg it out. Uh, that looks like a Tyler Davison hit. And I bring up Jim Davison. Neil, you on the comebacker. Uh, just, a, just a hint of white there. Huh? The hair, just a hint of white there. Just starting to, starting to turn gray. The strike. That's a base hit for Davison. And it'll be runners at the corners. Nobody out, and Travis Davison at the plate. He's down, he's down. Drops in in right center. Three. Throw to third. Gets away. And we'll have Davison's at the corners. Hey, center. Well, the potential tying run will come to the plate. It's Matt Garand. He looks at a ball. Nobody out. In the third. 2 0. Oh. 3 0. Oh. Walk would load the bases. Who's on deck here? Marshall. Marshall Zins. There's a strike. Uh, could be trouble. Drops in. It's going to be runners at the corners. Get, or not. <laughs> Garen picking up a little dirt. So the potential tying runs at second base. Darrell Myatt's leaving. Marshall Zins is at the plate. Behind Zins, it's Brunel, TJ Brunel. That'll be a sacrifice. Just back in time. Sacrifice for Zins, I'll make it 8-7. And TJ Brunel, the batter. Potential tying run in scoring position. Behooves him to get him in. 
Slow bouncer foul. Levine delivers. Strike two. Demire's giving chase. That's going to be a couple of bases. Bernal's going to stop at third. Hey, triple to drive in two and put his team ahead. Or maybe he drove in two and tied it. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. He represents a potential time. I'll go ahead and run, and this is Tyler Davison. This will not be deep enough to score the run. Two down. Josh Chapman, the batter. Strike one. Well, cool grab. It is 8 8. We're going to the bottom of the third on viewer supported hometown cable. Chris Perrier. Looks at ball one. Well, two. No, one and one. The first one was a strike. Thought he was waving it off rather than calling it a strike. Base it. For Perrier. 8-8 eight, eight to score. We're in the bottom of the third. There's Welk. Could be Mike Welk. Could be Lawrence. No, it's not. Lawrence Welk. Could be Tom Welk. Could be Isidore Welk. Mike, I guess. Scott McCormick up. And it will be cut by Davison. Sacrifice fly. Nice catch by Davison. Jocko DeMars Sr. Makes a strike. Get the short. Safe at first. It popped out of the glove. 10-8. Mike Madore. Pitch from Dragoon. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit the third. Davison goes to second. Throw to first. Safe. Safe. Uh, I got Jay Drillette. Hit to short. Over to Chapman for the out. 10 8. Two runs for Labatt's. Blue Light Lime. They lead Dragoon's Farm Equipment. Going to the bottom half, uh, top half, top half of the fourth. Strike one to Mark Dragoon. Top of the order up for Dragoon's Farm Equipment in the fourth. They trail by two. There have been <laughs> runs. Or at least a run in every inning thus far, every half inning. Jocko Jr. grabs. We have one out. <coughs> Dragoons have scored three, one, and four in their three innings. Labatt six, two, and two in their three innings. There's the shortstop, Isaac DeRolf. Gets it through the left side. <clears throat> so he's a base runner. 
And another picture of Dan Dragoon. Strike. High fly ball deep, left center. It is dropped. If a look. Whoop. 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 Did the umpire see that? Is he out? Two. They passed him on the base pass. Two down. Two down, Blue. Come on. Get this one. Come hit. Dragoon was hustling. The rope was heading back. And. So two outs, a break there for Labatt's. Here's Robbie Dragoon. And that's going to score a run. It is 10-9, and Jim Davison will step in. Potential tying run at first base, top of the fourth. There's a strike from Kevin Levine. Popped up. Let's go. Let's go. It is 10-9. We're going to the bottom half of the fourth. We're halfway Wait, go, through this one. Inning. Let's go. Ian Brown takes a strike. It's a high fly ball into the corner. Strike two. There's a line shot. Oh, with a glove of Dragoon in left field. Brown will stop at second. It is 10 9 Labatt's here in the bottom of the fourth. Tom Perry hits it to DeRoff. To Brunel. Neil Stevens is homered in his two trips and driven in six runs. Come on. Up again. Come on, line drive. Yep. It's it on the ground. Travis Davis oh. they take uh, Travis Davison, yes. Travis Davison fires to Brunel. Two down. And I bring up David Hawk Furrier. Strike one. Back to the Dragoon, there will be no play. Good stop there by, uh, by Brunel. Brunel's replaced Jim Davison at first, who's now the extra hitter position. Here's Jaffo DeMars Jr. 10-9 the score, DeMars drives in a run to make it 11. Runners at the corners for Chris Perrier. He takes a strike. So with that run, uh, we continue with uh, a run scored or more in every half inning. Out of play. That's a base hit. That'll score another run. I'll make it 12 9. The runners at the corners. Timeout in the field. Cars leaving in the parking lot. Headlights. To DeRolf. Over to Chapman for the out. 
It is 12-9. We're heading for the fifth inning here on viewer-supported hometown cable. This is Travis Davison leading off the top of the fifth. His team down by three. Hits it to straightaway center. Off the base of the fence, he'll get at least three out of it. He's in with a leadoff triple. Now uh, Matt Guerin. Uh, to second. Off the arm of McCormick. 12-10, potential tying run to plate. Marshall's in, hits a slow bouncer to McCormick. Go to first, not in time. One out, and TJ Brunel at the plate. Foul ball, strike one. That's a base hit for Brunel. Puts a potential tying run. Oh, on board. Nice dance in there by Zins. Maybe second and third. Still just one out. Tyler Davis in the batter. Straight away center. Look out. Jolette grabs. Oh, get back there. Safe. <laughs> Keith Riel's making the call. It's the uh, <laughs> plate umpire's call. 12-11. Josh Chapman at the plate. He takes the strike. Tying run at third base here in the top of the fifth. 12-11 to score. Line shot back to Levine, a well hit ball by Chapman, but it's an out. And we're gonna go to the bottom of the fifth. 12-11, Labatt's leading by a run over Dragon Farm Equipment. Come on, let's go, we gotta go. Come on, here we go, garbage game. Okay, we got uh, McCormick, he's got McCormick up. Where is it? Yeah, McCormick. One down. Bottom half of the fifth. Jocko Lamars Sr., the batter. Well, that's leaving Dragoons 12 11. There's a base hit for Jocko Sr., gets away in center field. Forcing him to run. There's Mike Medor. It is short. The roof to Brunel. Two down. Now Jay Drolette. <laughs> Just a little blooper. Get the run in. 13-11. Oh, Ian Brown. Pops it up out of play. Strike one. One one pitch. Uh, two one delivery. Three balls and a strike. Two outs. Man at first. Bottom of the fifth. Labatt's up 13 11. Opening night of the season. That's deep. It is deep. That is out of here. Ian Brown has done his Neil Stevens impersonation. And he will make it 15 to 11. Let's go. Let's go. 
job. Come on, Pete. Uh, Tom Perry to the third does not run and Davison fires to Brunel and to the out in the score book we're going to the sixth inning it's 15-11 Top of the order for Dragoon's farm equipment. Mark Dragoon at the plate. Team down by four. Popped up and be out of play. Come on, D. Come on, D. Too much arc. Get to the right side. And Mark Dragoon is on with a leadoff single. Uh, here's Isaac DeRolf. Strike called. Stevens. One out. Just felt the sprinkle. I think we're supposed to get some rain overnight. Here's Dan Dragoon. He has cranked it over the fence. How about that? Dan Dragoon. Adds two to the Dragoon Farm Equipment score. You'll have to take my word for it that uh, Robbie Dragoon hit <laughs> one over the fence. I, uh, this camera, when I close the viewfinder, when I'm not recording, it shuts the camera off. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I didn't uh, purposely close the viewfinder. I was adjusting my glove on my taping hand and uh, writing some stuff down on my score sheet here. And I picked up the camera and the uh, viewfinder, the viewfinder was closed. So by the time I opened it up and come on. One day here. Come on the camera did what it does to Do not too much. get back in gear, uh, Robbie Dragoon had hit the first pitch out of the park. And he's made it a one-run game and Jim Davison the batter. Davison hits it to straightaway center. It is in the gap. And he will settle for two. Come on, D. There's Travis Davison. And he is going to tie the ball game. Go, go, go. bobbles it. Jim Davison scores. RBI single for Travis Davison. 15 15. And we've got Matt Garand at the plate. You middle. Deep, ball one. Just one out. Here in the top of the sixth. And that will be caught by Drolette. Two down. There's Zins, Marshall Zins. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Chopper to McCormick. Throws high to Hop Brewer. We are tied. It's 15 15. We're going to the bottom half of the sixth here on viewer supported hometown cable. There have been runs scored in every half inning for Dragoons Farm Equipment. 3 1 4 1 2 4. For Labatt's Blue, 6 2 2 3. Neil Stevens will lead off the bottom half of the sixth. 
Makes a strike. First time he's been up with nobody on base. Illegal. Too much arc on that last one. Stevens hits a line shot. And it's caught by Garand in left center. One out. Now Hawk Perrier. Pitch from Dragoon is hit. Oh, wow. Whoa. Nice catch there by Travis Davison. Took an extra base hit away from hard hitting Hawk Perrier. Two outs. And Jocko DeMars Jr., the batter. Come on, Junior. There's the pitch. <laughs> Mark Dragoon makes it interesting. It's the first three up, three down inning we have had. It is 15 15. We're going to the seventh here on viewer supported hometown cable. TJ Burnett. Burnett, TJ Brunell starts the seventh inning with a base hit and a tie ball game. Uh, we got uh, Tyler Davison. Pops up to McCormick. We have one out. Win or lose, Dragoons Farm Equipment is sending a message that they can play with the best of them here. They're Come on now. Sending the, the uh, Let's go. Sending this game to the seventh inning. Josh Chapman against the defending champions about five, six, seven, ten times. I don't know how many championships in a row for Labatt's. Top of the order to follow. And a strike. Popped up. Two down. Mike Welk making the catch. There's Mark Dragoon. Come on. Come on, Deke. It's it through the right side, seeing I hit. Brunel rounding second, heading for third. He'll be in. But with two down, it's runners at the corners for Dragoons in this tie ball game. Base hit here would make it interesting, give Dragoons a lead going into the uh, bottom of the inning. Throw to second in time. So Dragoons are scoreless for the first time. It is 15 15. One swing of the bat could win it. For Labatt's, we're going to the bottom of the seventh, all tied up. Fifteen, fifteen on the scoreboard. The defending champions at bat as we start the bottom of the seventh in a seven-inning ball game. Chris Perrier, the batter. Fouled and caught by Zin. Marshall Zin, <coughs> the one out. Now here's Mike Welk. Pitch from Dragoon. High fly ball, deep. Deep. Deep in the uh, out of focus area. He's going to stop at third. Not sure why the camera went focus out there. Hit off the one of the signs out there. Well, with one out. Scott McCormick, the batter. I think I would. Uh, I'd put him on. I'd put him on. Put a force on. One out. Set up a potential double play. Come on, 
Jerry Owen will probably pitch carefully to him. Winning runs at third base. You're going to put him on. There's Jocko Demar Sr. and there's the line shot to throw to the plate. And he'll score. So two outs. A sacrifice fly. Wins the ball game. 16 to 15. Uh, if you're Dragoons Farm Equipment, you hate to lose, but uh, you're going to hold your head high knowing you lost to the defending champions by a run. So that's the way it was on this April 30th, 2012. You've been watching viewer supported Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.